the Large Hadron Collider is currently switched off for maintenance, which means we're allowed to travel 100 metres underground to see the world's biggest science experiment up close. So this is the experiment as we approach it from one end. The whole cavern is about 45 or 50 metres long. For 18 years, particles have been colliding inside these tunnels at nearly the speed of light to recreate the moments just after the Big Bang. We basically take photographs of collisions of very high energy particles, 40 million pictures a second, We're trying to understand how nature works at the most fundamental level. They discovered the Higgs boson, a particle which explains how things get mass. But to go further, they want to build bigger, much bigger. At nearly 100 kilometers in circumference, the future Circular Collider, or FCC, would be three times the size of the current ring and twice as deep. How much is this going to cost and how are you going to persuade governments to pay that? So the FCC will cost 15 billion Swiss francs. That's 13 billion pounds. It's spread over 15 years and it's shared between the 24 member states of CERN and other international partners. This is Mark Thompson, recently elected as CERN's next boss. To convince the government, I think there are many arguments. One is the science, but then there's the wider economic impact of working right at the forefront of science and technology that will then filter down into the economy. That happened with the internet, which was invented at CERN, as was cloud computing. But there is a more pressing driver for this decision, China. The government there is considering plans to build a giant collider of its own. We really have to stay at that forefront because it is one of the few, say very few areas where we have the lead in Europe compared to other, other parts of the world. Whilst they wait for a decision, the current collider will undergo a four year upgrade, including advanced parts manufactured in the UK. So all the parts from all over the world, they come here to CERN. A collection of super cooled magnets and super cool science should help physicists collect 10 times as much data. The chance of a head-on proton-proton collision is the same precision as firing two needles from opposite sides of the Atlantic and you want them to collide in the middle. So what this new piece of kit does is that we are able to rotate the two beams um, so that when they collide in the detector, you increase the chance of a head-on collision. Upgrades should tip the needle in Europe's favour for the next decade at least. But to keep this continent as the centre of particle science excellence long term won't come cheap. Martin Stew, News at 10, Geneva.